Hi and welcome to That Photo Show and in this episode we're going to take a look at some old photographs. Old. So I said to Mickey, got the memo this week, oh, Yeah. let's look at a bunch of photographs and the stories behind them because what we want to do is we want to have a bit of fun don't we? Yeah, fun's always we good want, isn't it? We want to entertain you and mm. um, so we're going to look at these photographs, stories behind them and we're not going to get very technical are we? Well no because I mean to be fair I'm not very technical anyway. He's not, to be honest. But if you have any technical questions about any of the shots that you're going to see, then just pop a little thing down below. Don't mean under the table. Oh, right. You know the way it works. Yeah. And we will answer them. We will do our best anyway. So we've picked a selection of shots anyway. And mm -hmm. uh, so let me tell you the backstory about my shots. I'm looking forward to seeing these. He, he is. He's looking forward to them. You haven't seen them, have you? No, I haven't seen them, he no. He hasn't seen them, no. no. This is our second take, by the way. <laughs> We have seen them. Um, <laughs> well, that was quite good acting, though, wasn't it? You be the judge of yeah, that. No. They, 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 they'll give you ba the award. Bafter in the post. I hope so. You deserve it, mate. I think so. He's acted stupid all his life. Right, backstory behind this then. This was my first... It turned out to be my first professional shoot. Mm. Right? And um, I was thinking about this. What is a professional shoot? When do you know you're a professional photographer? Are we professional photographers? Well, I, we are, I think we are. you can only answer that if you're a professional at anything, if you get your majority of earnings from that pursuit. Professional doesn't mean you're the yeah, best at explained anything. Explained that rather well, didn't he? I think so. <laughs> Second BAFTA in the post. Yeah, but I mean, it doesn't dafter, mean... The dafter, you... <laughs> Not the it doesn't mean... That you're the best photographer in the world. No. Or even the best photographer in this street. Or in this room. Or in this room. In your yeah. case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, it just means that you get paid for, for doing it. I mean, there's some professional photographers who, who just point and shoot and do the same photograph day in, day out. You there's wouldn't say the, they were brilliant photographers. All the weekend warriors that do weddings. I think you know there's, there's a whole photographers. Yeah. Really mattered. I mean it doesn't they get paid but it doesn't mean to say they're professional because they'll go back to work in Ikea the following week yeah you're a photographer yeah we problem solvers is what we are isn't it that's what I like to think of photography as problem solving I like Some, to think of it as memory catching <sighs> I knew I shouldn't have bared that incense <laughs> stick before <laughs> Right, so the backstory was I had to do this shoot. Is that fly still in the studio? No, it was a memory I've just caught. Oh, <laughs> forget the fly. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I, I, I rocked up to this um, shoot and I, 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 the brief was to photograph a motorbike for Suzuki. Suzuki. Suzuki? Yeah, Suzuki. Suzuki. Oh, me Suzuki. <laughs> right. um, you ride your bike <laughs> and I'll ride mine. He loves doing Brian Clough. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, um, what's the film, The Commitments? Yeah. Goes, God's arrived on his Suzuki. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Saviour's arrived, that's it. On his... Anyway, you, know, you have to be there. Yeah. So, yeah, so I rocked up to do the shoot of this motorbike anyway. Also, I thought it was just a motorbike. And the, I had this camera, which is my first ever digital camera. Mm -hmm. And um, as you can see, it's, it's a very odd-looking thing. And the lights I used were very cheap Jessup lights, um, strobe lights. So all you could afford in them days, wasn't it? It was, yeah. And uh, and to fire them, I didn't have a pocket wizard or a trigger. Um, I had to put a piece of tin foil on the flash and that would trigger the strobe lights. And that's the way. So imagine turning up to a professional shoot with a bit of uh, cooking foil on your camera. Do, you know what? Uh, uh, true professionals work with what they've got. Well said. Not, that's, you know, that's, you know. What, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they do, don't they? It's, you know, they haven't got all the latest gear all the time. You know, if you know what you're doing, you, you can you can do it. You can do it, yeah. And and the point is as well, if, you, if you're if you good at your craft and, and you're a creative and you are creating sort of fine art photography, it doesn't really matter what camera you use. Absolutely not, no. Although saying that... <laughs> The quality from this pixel cam was really low, so um, you had to get the shot right because there was no cropping in. No, no, like no, no. But it kind of teaches you, doesn't it, when you use not the greatest gear, getting it right in camera. 
It does, yeah. So, so really, it's a good grounding for me yeah. to get to where I am now. So should we take a look at the photographs then? Oh, yes, please. So here's the shot then. And so uh, where's the bike? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking at that photograph and thinking it's good. I, I can see. It, it, it actually Neither take, am I. <laughs> yeah, but what it does do though, it's it was taken in 1999. Yeah. Um, and it just brings back loads of memories to me. And um, anyway, so it's her body shape against the shape of the bike. That's the idea. And um, I eventually turned it into this. So that was the poster mm. that they used online. Now, I hate it. It's hideous. But um, but they were pleased with it and I got paid. So, yeah. So there you go. But it is horrible. But when I was getting these shots ready to do this little um, video today... Uh, there was a whole bunch of shots that I didn't use from the shoot. And I could see in one of them that there was little seeds of like creativity. I'll show you. On this shot here, I can see I've been thinking there. <laughs> right? Yeah. And, um, mm -hmm. and it was, right, let's put her in a, in a sort of oversized pair of motorcycle boots. Yeah. And get her to stand sort of aggressively mm -hmm. with a bit of attitude. I don't, I don't know what it says about me. <laughs> The first thing I noticed about that shot was the uh, the Apple computer there, the old... Yeah, it just shows you, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The old jelly one. Yeah. 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 Uh, there's no goat in that shot, is there? I don't know what you're going on about. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, but anyway, so you, you look at a shot like that and I can see seeds, little sorts of seeds, buds of creativity because... Um, at the way I've asked her to stand and, and, you know, the fact I've made her put those boots on and stuff. Mm. So I never did anything with that photograph uh, until this morning because I thought, well, with the things I know now, it, it's a really low-res photograph, by the way, but the things I know now, what could I do with it? So just in half an hour, half an hour's work, uh, I took it to that. And it's now a con contemporary look, isn't it? So I put the brick wall in behind uh, it's got a more professional cutout applied to it because um, Photoshop's gone a lot better mm. now. I've drawn in some extra hair. <laughs> There's two ways you could have taken that joke then. <laughs> I you took, it, to you it. took it the clean way, which is great. Um, and I put the floor in as well and uh, put some lettering on the floor. It's amazing what you can do these days, isn't it? Yeah. And... Uh, to be honest, I'd love to zoom in and show you stuff in detail, but that is about the biggest that'll go. If I zoom in anymore, it's the quality yeah, is awful. Pixelates, yeah. yeah. Um, and then right up to date, because um, I do shoot a lot of people and um, and get away with it. And um, so that's sort of like something recent I would do now. And Sophie's a model I use quite often. And uh, I love that. I watched the film. What was the film? Oh, it was a series, an Amazon series, and it was uh, Little Fires Everywhere. And one of the main characters in it was a, a photographer. And she used film. And what she'd do is when she'd do, shoot in black and white, develop her own stuff, but then she'd rip the, the photographs up and make like collages. Yeah, and, yeah. It was, I, you know, and it was only I've fiction. I've not seen that. Oh, it was only fiction, but I just thought... And then she had, it was a woman's face, but there was strips, ripped yeah. strips like right. that. Right. Okay. Yeah. She set a camera up. This is fiction, isn't it? You know, it's not true, but you know, but she did it. And then she set fire to the bottom of them yeah. and then took the photograph. And it was, and that's creativity, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. That was brilliant, yeah. isn't it? So all that? that? Little fires everywhere. Little fires I've everywhere. Never even heard yeah, of it. You, you're going to have to watch that. It's really. On good. Netflix? On Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. So that's yeah. me done. And, um, I say little stories we will we will come up with all the time. Mick's going to tell, tell you some of his now. Yeah. Um, any more to tell you on that? Not really, no. I got, did I get paid? Do you know what? I didn't get paid for that job. Well, it's not professional shit then. No, what they gave me instead was, um, this was quite popular at one time, they gave me a desk in their office. I don't mean... Ah, uh, right, yeah. I don't mean walk out with the desk. Yeah. They gave me a desk yeah. uh, for free and I worked there for about six yeah. months doing my own projects. Well, funny you should say that. Well, that, that that's a nice little segue. Uh, you didn't get paid for that shoot. No. No. I didn't get paid for this shoot. But it's a a shoot that I ended up getting lots and lots of work from. Mowing the grass. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this, this, for a while. this is a place called Karen Two Hill. 
I was there photographing for the Wooden Spoon charity. Right. Uh, and hence why I didn't get paid for it. I waived my fee. Uh, but it was a great time. And I ended up doing the Four Peaks Challenge. Right. For six, seven years on the run. No, about five, That's five years on the run. That's a long challenge, that. Pardon? That's a long challenge. I'll tell you. And the challenge starts 48 hours or so previous to this in Ben Nevis in Scotland. And the challenge is to climb the four highest peaks in each of the four countries, Scotland, England, Wales and Ireland, within 48 hours, including travel. So you can imagine the the work that goes into that. Now, my job was to capture the teams climbing these places. So I had to climb it first. Oh my God. So I had to get up there before they got up there. And, and you're not the fittest of people either, are you? Well, funny you should say that. <laughs> the first time I did it... It's the second funny thing I've said. Yeah. The, the first time I did it, I, I kind of didn't think it was going to be that hard. I mean, how, how's high, how high is a mountain? You know, I can, I can do that. So I was halfway up Ben Nevis, the first mountain. It's a, and that's a proper big mountain. And I thought I was going to die. Because I had two Canon cameras. So these people racing up it, they just had themselves and a, a, a few little pa- backpacks with, with, you know, energy drinks in and, and, and water. And, and yeah, I had a massive big bag of camera equipment and I hadn't trained. So I really was struggling. There's so, a surprise. So I'm just going to show you. It- I'm going to get Mick to sit here, and I want to sit. And the reason for that is because, because I fancy a change. Right. So, the first time I did it, I was carrying, dear me, a, a camera like that. It was a, it was the model uh, before that it was the five D Mark II. This is a, a Mark III. But also, I was carrying two of them. So I had two of these, one with this lens on, and one with that lens on. So you can see the size of them and the weight of them. You know, it's not... Oof, wouldn't like that dropping on my foot. No, uh, or on your back, to be honest, climbing four mountains. So that, and then he killed himself. So it was one of the reasons that the year after, uh, I decided to invest in the Fuji system. Ah, the good old This Fuji is, a, again, a, a model, a few models up. But you can see the difference in size. Had one of these. Oh no, yes. did I? I have an XT2, I had an XT2. Yes, that's an XT. The ones I used back then were XT1s, but that's the biggest lens I had on it. So I had two of them, one with that, that lens and one with that lens. Sim- similar. Still quite weighty, but it a, is, lot, but a lot lighter. Nowhere near the cannons. And this is the final mountain. So I decided oh, I'll take a few nice photographs before I get up there. Now, there's a part here called called if i can just point it out see that bit there that is called the crack in the middle the devil's ladder now from my experience anything with the name devil in is 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 not going to be kind of uh, very nice no and it wasn't on that photograph because there's no kind of sense of scale on this photograph really there's no people in it so that that's something i always try and do now with landscapes even uh, landscapes like this if there's no sense of scale try and get some some a person in it somewhere but that is the fourth mountain so we'd climbed Ben Nevis Scarfell and Snowden and then we'd got the uh, overnight kind of boat over to Dublin and then drove down to County Kerry and straight up uh, Callan Two Hill to get that to that point is a two mile walk along a dried riverbed. So you can right. imagine it's not easy walking. Loads of fun then. And I was absolutely shattered and I couldn't understand why I was so shattered. And every now and again, I'm convinced I was getting followed. I was getting followed by a goat or a horse or something. And happens, every time I looked around. It happens a lot that when you with me. <laughs> <laughs> but every time I looked around, there was nothing there. Poor 
and it was absolutely doing my head in. So anyway, I carried on and climbed three quarters of the way up the Devil's Ladder. Now, there you can't see the scale of it and the Devil's Ladder is nowhere near the top, the peak. That's looking down from, say, just over halfway up the Devil's Ladder. So you can get the scale of how high that mountain really is and you can see the path I've walked. Yes. Uh, it's a fair distance to even to start climbing. Where's the ghost? I don't know. I really don't know. So anyway, the view is waiting. <laughs> I, well, I'll, the goat never appeared. Wow! Oh, and the horse never appeared. Alert. <laughs> so after I'd gone up the top, I decided not to go uh, uh, photograph from the top. I, I thought this would be more interesting photographs. People scrabbling up this. Uh, they looked at, like they're having a Sunday walk after the Sunday. Lunch. Amazing, isn't it? Amazing. But. Uh, you said it was hard. They, 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 they just look like so relaxed, don't they? Uh, yeah, but, but still, photography look, doesn't capture motorcycle. Uh, motorcycle cyclist. Helmet These on. are uh, they, well. They were all worn to wear hats and helmets on this part of the climb because the Did devil's you take ladder. Your helmet? No, I didn't have a helmet on. Didn't you know? No. Uh, well, I was up first, wasn't I? Uh, but because it's it's very loose scree, so if you kick something and, and a stone kicks I'll, you on the I'll, head. I'll, at this point, I'll put up on the screen what scree is. Right, okay. <laughs> Stones. Stones. Yeah. So, Cause yeah. Because he, he couldn't make that word up. He tells me all about these birds that he photographs. And honestly, the, the great warbling frog finch. I've <laughs> never heard of it. I like more to be honest. That's what I'm saying. That's the sort of bird he talks about. Well, I, I think you mean... Nuthatch or something like that, don't you? Yeah, but you, I'm sure you've said frog finch in the past. I don't think I have. <laughs> I think you Right. But scree anyway. Yeah, and scree. Yeah. So... Stones. So I climbed up the t near, near to the summit, decided actually the weather looked as if it was it was coming in, so I'd come down and captured them coming up, struggling up the, the devil's ladder. Once they were all past me, I walked down and took up... A position in between them two lakes to get a few people coming down past me and I still walk past I, I was really it was really tough going and I thought I don't understand this why it's so tough and I could hear the goat all the way back and it's not at the finish he's not here is he? <laughs> <laughs> You thought I was just <laughs> we said and time tonight, now, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got a story about right. anyway. Oops, so, it's disappearing. So I, I get almost to the end, the finish line of uh, climbing these four mountains of forty-eight hours. Absolutely knackered, and I couldn't understand why it was so hard underfoot. And then. I found out where the goat was. Pray tell. It was my boot. <laughs> All the time, my boot was in that condition. So every time I walked... Oh, my God. I imagine walking miles and miles with a boot like that. And it, it must have took twice as much... What I want to know is why has he still got the boot and why hasn't it been fixed? <laughs> Uh, I've still got the boot because I just chucked it in the shed and it hasn't been fixed because uh, I, I don't want it fixed. So what you're saying is behind oh, you then, there was a goat wearing this boot. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Making all that noise. Yeah. Amazing that, isn't it? They stink, by the way. I know they do. Not, not a sweat. I, just I like, can see, see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, not a sweat. of like old leather that yeah. has been in love with a goat. Uh, yeah, look at yeah. that ghostly smell. Yeah, so that was uh, the story of, uh, of my first time up Karen Two Hill. Um, it was twice as hard as it should have been, uh, and well, the years of, afterwards, it's it, a lot it of innuendo. Was quite, <laughs> <I know. laughs> Especially when there's a goat knocking about. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you've mentioned the people here. Uh, they look as if they're having a great time. Well, they're having a great time there because they know it's the last mountain. And they've almost completed the challenge. So, the but coach. not everybody was as happy to see me. Uh, they're they're no. super happy. <laughs> <laughs> now, this next photograph I'm going to show you is 
taken halfway up Ben Nevis, so the first mountain, mm. and you can see it's raining. And is he saying to you that uh, one more photograph, Mick? Yeah, one, one more. more corner, and we're near the top, which it wasn't really. Uh, now the observance amongst you might he's, he's recognize. Got a on him, hasn't he? he hasn't anymore. Actually, he's got. He's gone. He, he's had uh, a fitness regime, but Sorry he used to play rugby. That's why I said sorry then. Yes, I would. <laughs> he was called the Bull, I think. Was he? Yeah, yeah. He's got a nice watch on. Yeah. That's uh, a strange watch to wear to go up a hill. That's a... Isn't it? A Carrera yeah. uh, tag, top of the range dude. Yeah, well, he is... Things I noticed. He won the World Cup with England. Does he? That's Phil Vickery, yeah. He won uh, the Rugby World Cup. Uh, with England and he was the patron of the Wooden Spoon charity so he used to do some of the the challenges and the woman behind him uh, was the captain at the time of the England women's rugby team Maggie Alfonsi so yeah uh, he wasn't happy to see me well I've become good friends with Phil and he actually before that he had already won Celebrity Master Chef as well, on the same day. <laughs> Absolutely uh, amazing fella, amazing fella. Has has a, a, a range of clothes now. Oh my god! Uh, Raging Bull. That's what he was called. Raging Bull. Uh, yeah. Man uh, of many talents. Nice, he? nice bloke. Nice bloke. But uh, wasn't Does he that c- too keen to see me uh, jumping out, taking photographs off him halfway up Ben Nevis? Does he make um, in the rain? Does he make a good go curry? I'm sure he does. Yeah, I'd have to ask him. No, yeah. I'd go curry, actually. I have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tasted like our boots. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. That's been Mick. And that's been Frank. And I'll be Frank. <laughs> Catch you later. Very Frank. <laughs>